Hi guys, so um, because I've been doing lots of live streaming and stuff recently, I haven't actually shown you many projects. Um, but it doesn't mean I haven't been working on stuff. So I am working on a few things at the moment and I'm just going to give you a very quick tour before I end up doing some proper videos on them. Unfortunately, I'm working a lot at the moment, so I don't really have time this weekend to sort it out. But I'll give you a quick tour of what, what I'm working on at the moment. So this here is a it's a clock source essentially. I'm going to be trying to make a frequency counter from a bunch of 4000 series chips. Now this one uses the 4060 and I think that's the 4027. Yeah, the 4027 and that essentially it's a 14 bit counter and then we have a JK flip-flop chip here. So we're going to be using that 14 bit counter to drop down um, a signal from a 32.768 watch crystal I think that's actually the right number um, so that's that's the source and then it sort of divides down divides down divides down and then we end up getting a 2 Hertz pulse from the 4060 which I then use uh, the 4027 to turn into a, uh, a 1 Hertz pulse but it also has um, all of these other pulses on there that I can use other time bases if I want them so we can have a look what's going on so if I just uh, switch on the circuit we should see some data come through. There we go. So we've got this set on a uh, time base of one second. So each division is one second. And we can, I just take it out of auto mode so that it pauses. We can move those across and you can see that it is exactly one second. So I can't quite get all of that in there. So we've got 10 across here, time base, I've magnified it so it's now 0.1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And they just, <laughs> I just can't get it in there, but uh, it is one second. In fact, we can check using the trace. So if I select this trace, the very bottom or the top, 840 milliseconds, minus 840, and then If we go to there, and then we're at plus 160, so exactly a second. So that will be my clock source for the frequency counter. So I need to have a time base of one second so that the display can refresh, or stop counting essentially, and then refresh every second. We've also got um, my little GPS module down here that I'm working with, uh, and the the SIM module as well, so the SIM 800L. I'm still working on those. Um, I've successfully managed to get the GPS data out, so we'll be looking at that at some point. Uh, it's a Neo Blocks um, 6M, I believe, uh, and I'm just powering it from uh, 3 volts um, and also powering the Arduino from 5 so that I can get some data out. I've also been messing around with this um, uh, BT Zum. 328 board. Now this, um, I showed on live stream before, but it's a Bluetooth uh, Arduino Uno compatible, and it's brilliant. You can program it over Bluetooth um, and get serial data across and all that kind of stuff. I, I think actually this is going to be a look, great little brain for a robot. Um, I was going to use an Uno to control some of these little stepper motors, so I think this might be a good idea to use one of these so that it can be reprogrammed on the fly. I also picked up uh, some of these little wheels which um, fit onto those stepper motors so those are going to be the wheels for my little robot I also have oh, crumbs also have I have some larger stepper motors but um, they're a bit heavy and I don't really know how to mount them I also don't have any wheels that will fit on so uh, I'm not sure if I'll be using them but there's the other one. So hopefully, all of this is gonna turn out well, but I'm not entirely sure. But I thought I'd give you a preview before the projects fail and then you never get to see them, at least this is a little preview for you.